I want the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. <laughs> Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. Playing cocktail angst on my bassoon. All the girlies hear me and they swoon. And let's hear from our judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little bunny. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! I really think you could do this professionally. Thanks. But Peepers is my brother. There's no way I'm voting for anyone else. Okay, I can see that. Remember folks on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. Just need another cake. Damn it! I need to go make another cake. Don't. No, I want the cooking show, which is this one. <laughs> Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys! Yay! Thank you, and welcome to the show. Again. What are we making this time, Sam? Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. MSG. Every I'm chef sure has a poisonous. signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. That's disgusting. That is... You'll want to crush it. up some dried dingo kidneys. Come on, bachelors! You know you have them! Look under the sofa cushions! What? Sulfuric you want to use the sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily <laughs> overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds, and your esophagus... Red Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. Yeah, I thought it was bad for you. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us! Alright, let's go feed him the cake. Then use the voice modulator, then sing, and then, yeah. And then I think we should be able to get in tomorrow. So I think we need to be, like, famous enough to get in. Otherwise she won't have anything to do with this. More cake for you? No tomatoes, right? I know how he's not dead yet. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Bottleneck on the freeway of doom. on the freeway of doom. <laughs> <laughs> Cryptic and therefore May the starfish justice not immune. Playing cocktail angst on my pursuit. Blowing like a zephyr on a deal. And let's hear from our judges. Your moribund crooning is far less offensive than Peeper's excruciating slaughterhouse squalor. Um, thanks. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! That was amazing. But as long as I'm a judge, Peepers is getting my vote. Nuts. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. Then... Why? What? <laughs> How has he not gotten sick yet? What kind of perks go with this gig? Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by color? Ooh, craft services food! Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuffed with lightly bruised olives, please. Not likely. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. I think the craft services crew all went in to watch the Myra show, like everybody else. All we got was a basket of tomatoes! Ugh. What kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. Say no more. Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing, or I'll be out of commission for hours. That Enjoy your judging. Like Catch you later. I uh -huh. can use against him. Oh, what the fuck? Shit. Alright, what the hell was that all about? Oh. And once again... Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Wait, so where are all the tomatoes? Hi. Hi. What can you tell me about the show you're shooting here? Embarrassing Idol, Standard Drill, Amateur Singers with Delusions of Ability perform in front of a camera. Judges heckle them, and the public gets sick pleasure out of watching the carnage. That seems clear. Thank goodness. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. You got that right. But well, I gotta figure it out how I can make him sick. There might be something on the ingredients rack that has tomato in it. That was the wrong one.
That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you, and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? A bunch of gunk in a dish. We'll just get some ingredients from the ingredient rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying hod. Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummying hod. Sorry, that's not... I'm gonna try and figure this out. Alright, well, my game crashed. <laughs> not sure why. I hope this is the right save. But I need to... Um, I need to make a cake. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking! The show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys! Thank you and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. A Ooh. dash of pink mink oil is a must. Mm -hmm. Nothing says, I last ate real food in the 80s like the inclusion of something pink. Um. Uranium. No more than a dash of uranium pellets. They also go great in Chuck's mix. Okay. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking showtime, one gorgeous, delicious cake. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us! Let's go! Embarrassing idol. Exit door. All right, I've got to go to Botsko's and put the tomato on the cake. Put tom tomato sauce on the cake. Oh, ketchup. Well, I can't really tell the difference, but okay. Hello! Salt. Use the motherfucking cake on the condiments machine. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. <laughs> Alright, let's ditch. 